Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to CP130. Uh, I'm uh, Robbie, and this is my co-presenter, Jeremy. Uh, and we're product managers at Google, responsible for Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. While we're typically based in New York, we're really excited to be here today to speak to you about how Docs, Sheets, and Slides can help you get the most out of your G Suite investment. But before we begin, just a little bit from the audience. How many of you use G Suite at work? Amazing. Um, so in this presentation, we'll talk a little bit about um, some of the new and upcoming functionality that will make you even more productive. Now, how many of you use a productivity suite other than G Suite? Okay. That's OK, too. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about how easy it is to migrate to G Suite and some of the transformation you'll see by adopting Google's tools. But before we go any further, our legal counsel asked us to show you this. Um, we'll be walking through a little bit of our forward-looking roadmap, so both functionality and release dates may be subject to change. Now that that's out of the way, the fundamental question we are trying to answer is, how does G Suite transform your company? Now, you're at Next, so I'm sure you've heard the marketing pitch. G Suite will transform the way your organization works. But what does it actually mean? Sure, G Suite has tons of uh, technical capabilities to help bring your organization to the next level. And yeah, G Suite has been shown to drive cultural changes across a lot of the organizations where it's been deployed, increasing the innovation and collaboration of those teams. But here we're going to talk about more practically, what does this mean for your employees? How does G Suite make their job easier and help your company grow? Our answer is based on this one simple finding, um, something that's probably intuitive to most of you. Inefficient processes are the number one cause of wasted time um, during the workday. The corollary of this is the fact that the best way to make your organization more productive is to eliminate inefficient processes. That's where G Suite comes in. Leveraging the power of the cloud to make your business processes more efficient. Specifically, we're going to look at enterprise teams walking through how Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides can help your team save time. Now, to provide a little bit of structure, we're going to take a look at enterprise teams through the, end, through the lens of the Tuckman model of team development. Bruce Tuckman decomposed the team life cycle into four distinct stages, forming, storming, norming, and performing. And we're going to look at each of them and identify how G Suite can help el eliminate inefficient processes at each step. So let's start at the beginning. Um, team creation, or as Tuckman christened, forming. This is where the team comes together, bringing their existing knowledge and experience to the table. And at Google, we understand that this knowledge and experience may not lay exclusively within the walls of G Suite. Success for the team means using pro it could mean using products outside of G Suite and coordinating with external partners, customers, vendors who simply don't run on G Suite. For this reason, G Suite is designed to meet teams where they work and to let team members leverage the tools that they know. This interoperability has three pillars. The first is migration. Some team members may be moving to G Suite for the first time. For them, we provide a full suite of tools, such as the G Suite mi Migrate, to seamlessly move their data into G Suite. But even for individuals already on Google products, there may be processes that require internal coexistence, where G Suite must be used alongside legacy tools. For those users, we support interoperability with many of the most popular file formats, which we'll speak to. And then finally, even when your team has entirely moved to G Suite, you'll in many cases be required to work with external partners, vendors, clients that may not be on G Suite, requiring external coexistence. 
And to support this workflow, G Suite interops with legacy productivity suites, so you never have to worry about who uses what. The bottom line is that G Suite works seamlessly with existing tools, so you don't have to worry about coexistence. And for that reason, today we like to talk about office editing in docs, sheets, and slides. Office editing allows you to open and edit Office files directly within Google's Docs, Sheets, and Slides, bringing the simplicity and ease of use of G Suite's cloud-based editing to all your files. And once an Office file type is opened, you can leverage the full power of Docs, Sheets, and Slides. You can even collaborate in real time with multiple editors in the same Office file. And G Suite will ensure every edit is saved and merged into the original file in its original format. This means there is always one single file in Drive, no conversions, no finding the latest copy. Of course, seamless interoperability is dependent on documents appearing identically on every platform. And Google has invested heavily in this area. So, if this is how your document appears in Microsoft Word, this is how it should look in Google Docs. Content and formatting are retained, including tables, images, headers, and more. Of course, Office is just one component of the larger enterprise ecosystem. G Suite offers a full set of data connectors, allowing you to sync your data with some of the most popular third-party platforms. One example is the data connector for Salesforce, allowing you to import your data directly from Salesforce. And new this year, we'll be introducing scheduled refresh, ensuring G Suite and Salesforce data is always in sync. Data connectors are further complemented by deep integrations into products such as Hire, allowing you to export di data directly to sheets or slides. And in addition to third parties, G Suite is making it simple to connect to Google services like BigQuery. Our BigQuery data connector leverages Sheets' familiar, intelligent, and collaborative interface to give you easy access to analyzing all your data without that specialized knowledge typically required for data analysis. And we're building on this foundation with the introduction of connected Sheets allowing users to access BigQuery without any SQL knowledge required. With this update, users will be able to create pivot tables, visualizations, formulas across data sets with over 10 billion rows of data. 10 billion rows, making it easier than ever for employees to access and analyze big data to make better business decisions. Now, not all data is in the cloud. And we're supporting that use case through on-prem connectors, data connectors, allowing you to securely connect sheets to data hosted on-premise within your company. As part of an ongoing alpha, G Suite will provide easy access to Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, and more sources coming soon. So why does this matter for you and your team? First, it just works. G Suite allows teams to import, edit, and convert between different file formats as needed. Second, G Suite saves the teams time and money by allowing users to move off expensive legacy licenses. And finally, teams can adopt G Suite at their own pace, supporting seamless interop between platforms so you don't have to worry about who uses what. Thanks, Robbie. OK, so let's talk about the second phase of the Tuckman phase of team formation, storming. Um, storming is when you've come together, you've brought your legacy information with you. Um, but this is often considered the roughest phase. This is where you're trying to figure out how really to work with each other. Personalities may clash. The pressures of getting stuff done can cause you great stress. Team's trying to figure out how to collaborate with each other. And we're going to use Google Docs to show how we can help you move more smoothly through this phase. You want to get past this phase to get to the later phases. Think about a new team collaborating on a document. One big problem is the worry that you may make changes that the others don't like. In Google Docs, 
you can enable suggesting mode. With suggested changes, the edits you make to a document remain pending, and your colleagues can then see the changes, and they can review them, accepting or denying each of those changes in turn, or doing them all in bulk. This reduces some of the friction you may feel in first time working together. It's worth noting, however, that there's still only one doc. You're not sending a doc in email to each other, marking this version one and waiting for your colleague to come back with version two while you sit unproductive. No longer will you get version 4.7 underscore final final in your email. With Google Docs, there's one version, and you send links. You can also communicate about the document within the document using Google Comments. And now you're not making direct changes, you're kind of talking in a meta model. One of the most powerful aspects of Google Docs and Sheets and Slides is comments. You can leave comments and reply to those comments in situ. Comments can be assigned to people explicitly, forming action items. And both comments and action items result in an email being sent into the inbox of the person to whom you're addressing, making sure they get answered in a timely fashion. Using natural language processing, Google will, will recognize something that might more normally become an action item and make the suggestion to you. So for example, if in a document you put Lee to set up a weekly meeting, Google will suggest you have an AI set up weekly meeting and assign it to Lee. And with one click, that becomes an actual action item both in your document and in email. When first collaborating in this fashion, you may worry about stepping on each other's toes. This, what you see here is how Google collaboration actually works. Multiple people are making multiple changes to the same document. And regardless of whether they're working in different time zones, in different countries, in different areas, they can see what each other's doing. This allows you to really be aware of each other's work fashion, and it often allows the team to figure out their team culture and how they want to collaborate with to get together. This real-time awareness really allows for a very powerful collaboration form. We know that people nowadays often work on the go while commuting or traveling. And all the features we're talking about are available in both the iOS and Android mobile apps. Our GC customers are already taking advantage of these collaboration features. Salesforce has long used G Suite to keep its leadership position in the CRM industry and expand into other markets. A core part of this is effective collaboration. They credit G Suite with breaking down barriers between their internal and external partners, helping them to feel like one team and deliver greater impact. The ease of collaboration enables Salesforce teams to work faster and more efficiently and effectively. OK, so we've talked a little bit about the uh, storming phase. Let's take this opportunity to look at some of the other features of Docs. One thing we hear all the time is that creators want their documents to feel professional. Typos, cut and paste errors, we've all been there. And when it happens, your documents don't look as good as they should. With spelling and grammar corrections, you can rest assured your writing will always feel polished. Google's powerful machine learning algorithms allow for various forms of grammar and, grammar and spelling, error detection, and, and correction. You may also want to share your documents outside of your native country. Google AI also provides powerful document translation. Google Docs has integrated translation into over 50 languages. And now, you can choose from over 800 fonts supporting those languages, including non-Latin scripts, such as Cyrillic and Devangari. And I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. I probably do. Once you find fonts you like, you can then add them to your My Fonts list. And now, in your future docs, those fonts appear at the top of the list, and they're more easy for you to retrieve and use in future docs. G Suite provides many tools, and they're more powerful when they work together. Many people find they use Google Keep as a repository for their thoughts, as well as things they read. So you read an interesting document, you might want to cut and paste it into a Keep note. Thanks to the side panel, you can now bring up those notes and use them without leaving the context of the document. Keep can serve as a repository, the place where you copy information, and then you easily recall it when writing. This keeps you in the flow for both ends of the recall and reuse cycle when writing. Coming soon, you'll also be open, able to open chat directly in the side panel for conversations relevant to a specific document. Finally, there's a whole set of tools at your fingertips when working with Google Docs. Google Docs provides extensibility through the add-on store an ecosystem of valuable tools that allow you to integrate advanced diagramming, signature, and other things. So, summing this up, 
And the storming phase of team formation is made easier through effective collaboration. And with Google Docs, it's easy to work together any place at any time and have the resulting documents look very polished and professional. Let's go to the next phase. Cool. Thanks, Jeremy. So we've talked about forming. Your team has been created. We've stormed. You have a sense of what your team wants to do and the direction you want to go. The third stage your team goes through is norming. This is when the team starts to establish a consistent process with a commitment to norms and values. For most teams, data becomes crucial at this stage. And what we, and for we've seen with many types of data analysis, Sheets is here to help. At the core of any data analysis is calculations. Sheets offers over 400 spreadsheet functions to help you analyze your data, including all the classics you've come to expect, such as VLOOKUP and MATCH. However, Sheets also complements the standard set with functions unique to G Suite, including Google Translate, um, leveraging Google's strength in, in language uh, translation and machine intelligence, and the Sparkline function, making it super easy to insert quick visualizations. Now, by a show of hands, how many of you consider yourself a spreadsheet ninja? A, a couple? <laughs> you, you are in high demand. And actually, one of the things we found is despite spreadsheets being the most relied upon source of information in business, less than 35% or 30% 30 of enterprise users feel comfortable manipulating formulas within spreadsheets. This introduces huge strain within a team because not everyone is able to contribute. To address this friction, Google has taken a few significant steps to, to democratize the area of data analysis. The first, for members of the team that are familiar with spreadsheets but struggle with the syntax, Sheets offers formula suggestions. Leveraging session context, formula suggestions suggests the best formulas for your current analysis before you type them. And for power users, formula suggestions have been shown to make formula entry up to five times faster. Alternatively, if you're a user that wants to avoid formulas completely, there are Sheets Explore, essentially a virtual data analyst standing by your side. Sheets Explore provides contextual help personalized to your data, providing pivot table, charts, and formatting suggestions. And if you ever want something specific, all you have to do is ask in plain English, and Sheets Explore will use its natural language processing to provide the answer. But you don't have to take my word for it. Um, Colgate Panamalov stated that with Explore and Sheets, everyone can bring data into their decision making. Users can just type in a question and get an answer immediately about their data. So we've talked about formulas. Next up, macros, a huge time saver for accelerating and automating repetitive work. Sheets now allows you to record custom macros required for analysis done by your team, both preventing manual mistakes, saving team members time, and allowing individuals to focus on higher value add activities. Finally, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention everyone's favorite an analysis tool, charts. Charts already do a great job visualizing common uh, types, like bar charts, line charts, scatter charts. Over the past year, we've continued to add more visualizations, including waterfall charts, allowing you to see cumulative effects on values, and chart customizations, providing better controls over things like colors, arrangements, and styles. To provide a sneak peek of what's to come, we will continue to build on this base, introducing new chart types, like the scorecard, the scorecard to highlight key stats, and additional customizations through an inline editing experience, allowing you to make sure that your visualization looks exactly how you want it to. And this effort all comes together in reports, an easy way to combine tables, charts, filters, and formatting to generate custom-themed dashboards that can, be that can be consumed by you and your team. 
But spreadsheets shouldn't just be numbers and graphs. With the introduction of checkboxes, Sheets added a powerful way to represent progress um, and status for elements in your sheet. And even more importantly, the value of these checkboxes can be passed to other spreadsheet functions, like conditional formatting and filters. Complementing checkboxes, um, we'll be we're excited to announce one of our most requested features within Sheets, images and cells. Now, you can add images directly to cells to help create more relevant inventory lists, CRM tracking, and task assignments. With images and cells, your data can now be directly supported by easy to understand photos, graphics, or other pictures. Now, with all this, additional, with all this new functionality, it's important to keep everyone on the same page. G Suite has long offered version history, allowing users to see how their documents have evolved over time. However, sometimes you need a bit more granularity. To address this requirement, we are pre-announcing edit history of a cell. This is version history, but for a specific piece of data, allowing you to see who last modified each piece of content within your spreadsheet. And if there's a problem, reach out to them, talk to them, and resolve the issue. So again, what does this mean for your team? Three big takeaways. First, with Sheets, everyone can contribute. Things like formula suggestions, explore, and connected sheets mean anyone can perform data analysis. Second, G Suite allows you to focus on what's important, highlighting the key insights and takeaways with advanced charting and visualization options. Finally, G Suite has expanded the concept of spreadsheets with new functionality like reports, images and cells, and checkboxes, putting the right data in the right place. OK, now we get to the final stage of team development, the performing stage. The team's in the flow, performing to their maximum capability. Let's talk about how to put together a pitch deck as a way to illustrate the full power of your team using G Suite. Very few people start their decks from scratch. Between the infamous blank page problem and wanting to emulate that great deck you saw one of your colleagues present, a majority of people want guidance on how to create a great presentation. A good practice is to put together on-brand templates. Google Slides offers a template gallery. This makes finding the right template easy because you can customize the gallery for your company with unique templates that are created by your employees. And you can organize them by team or by purpose and then distribute them as up-to-date templates. This way, you're sure to have your employees create, produce great decks that have the latest branding and design. Templates are not only useful for the one-off presentation. What if you need to produce 10 slide decks, all with very similar formatting, but slightly different content? In certain job functions, like sales, there's a common workflow. We have the same basic pitch deck, and you tweak it slightly for each of your customers. The customization today is not fast, and it's often prone to human error. You make a copy of the deck, change the name of the customer, change some of the corresponding data, and you do that one slide deck at a time. Google Slides has an API to help streamline, streamline and error-proof this process. So Google Slides offers both a REST API and an AppScript API to give users programmatic access to create and update presentations from any data source. Your team can build ready-to-go presentations to turn business data and to, I'm sorry, your team can build ready-to-go processes to turn business data into presentations and streamline this process, removing the common errors that humans make. With these APIs, you can use your internal tools, templates, and your customer data to fill in placeholders across the various versions of your pitch decks with just one click. Slides are not the only product in which you may want to build automated workflows. There are documents, invoices, proposals, et cetera, but may also have this kind of simple form-like structure. And it requires customization and information retrieval as you, put the, as you put them together. We recently released the Docs API to support this sort of weak workflow. Another common practice is sharing the same information across multiple presentations. Convincing and powerful presentations often have data and slides from sources that are other decks. 
We have feedback. This is a common workflow for most of our users. You have a few slides from an old deck that you want to bring forward into your newer decks. But repeatedly copying slides from one presentation to another as they get updated is a major time sink, and again, is prone to error. With Google Slides, when you copy a slide from one deck to another, as you'll see here, you have an option. Let's see if it comes up in a second. You have an option to choose whether the new slide is linked or not. And if it's linked, then the changes made to the original deck will be propagated through to the new deck. Now when you change the original presentation, all your decks update. And with, we're soon going to release where you can update all the slides inside a deck with just one click, rather than doing them one at a time. This, uh, the same concept of linking can be applied to charts or tables imported from sheets. If the underlying sheet changes, the slide is updated with the click of a button. Again, we've removed the tedium and overhead of having to remember to update your charts when the data behind them has changed. And as I said, coming soon, we'll enable you to update all the embedded content with just one click. All the other powerful collaborative features that we discussed about when talking about docs and sheets and, and sheets, excuse me, are also available in slides. You can increase your productivity by co-authoring presentations, avoiding the email diversion problem, and also using comments and AIs to keep the team collaborating well together. And again, all of these are available in the iOS and Android mobile apps, because we understand that you work on the go. Now, many people find the layout of slides to be cumbersome and would rather spend their time thinking about the content on each slide. With Google AI, the Explore feature lets you just drop your content on the slide, and with a couple of clicks, you get suggestions for formatting. We match the slide themes and the layouts to best fit your content, no cropping, resizing, or reformatting required. This Explore tool is so compelling because it really does save time by taking away some of the mundane formatting tasks. In fact, in our internal studies, we've seen that people who use Explore to, accept, to select layouts can save over 60% of the time they sp spend on formatting, a significant time, time saving. And just as we saw with Docs, Slides also has a large ecosystem of add-on tools to help you do your job that much better. In the add-on store, you can find tools that help you build more powerful presentations. They enable you to source beautiful full bleed pictures, use advanced formatting tools, or include diagrams that you created in programs outside of G Suite. The Nielsen Company has long used G Suite and Docs editors to keep its position as one of the world's most well-known and respected market research firms, with operations in over 100 countries. For example, previously, teams working on presentations sent numerous versions back and forth. Then it was a person's job to consolidate and merge all these changes, which was a lengthy and error-prone process. When Nielsen began building decks in sl and slides, team members were excited they could edit a deck simultaneously and see the changes in real time. And you see they mentioned the email back and forth every day. As part of the workflows we've mentioned in the previous slides, you may need approval or sign-off. So we're happy to announce that Google Drive is announcing helpful tools to automate that task making it easy to create and track the approval flow. And when it comes to documents in the enterprise world, security really matters. With G Suite, you can ensure the right people and only the right people can access your files. This level of control is facilitated by having your presentations and documents and spreadsheets in the cloud. Instead of emailing things around where they can be forwarded and easily copied, you send a link which remains in your control. And sometimes you may need to temporarily give access to someone else when working with an external server or a vendor. With expiration dates, you can confidently share your information with these external people, knowing that after the time of your choice, they'll lose their access. You may also want to see how your content is being consumed. Last year, we launched the Activity Dashboard, which allows you to see who's viewed your documents and when. Haven't gotten any feedback from your boss yet? You can find out through the activity dashboard if they've had the chance to open your doc in the first place. But don't, thank you for laughing. But don't worry. If you prefer, you can opt out of this with privacy settings. All of these are, are under your control. <laughs> Another aspect of the activity dashboard is a section called viewer trend. This provides you insights about the trends in viewership. You can understand the impact and influence of your work and possibly how your work might be spreading internally. This is basically analytics for your documents. And like the other things, viewer trend will respect your privacy set, uh, settings. Now we're excited to show you two more metrics in the activity dashboard, comment trends and sharing history. Comment trends, like viewer trends, 
visualizes the conversations happening in the document, showing you the number of comments, the suggestions, and replies created per day. Kind of helps, helps you understand how viral this document is and what kind of conversations are happening inside it. And as a document owner, it's often important to keep track of how your documents are being shared, both from a privacy and an impact perspective. The new sharing history section provides you granular visibility into how your document is being shared with others across the organization. You can see exactly who shared your document, with whom, when, and the details of their access level. With these features, the activity of the dashboard is kind of a centralized place where document owners and editors can see how their collaborations, their collaborators, are engaging with their content. Now, every good, every good deck ends up in a presentation. Whether you're presenting from your mobile device or your laptop, in a meeting or a conference like this, the presenter view in Google Slides gives you, the presenter, a special view into your presentation. Preventer view, help, presenter view helps you be a better presenter with features like speaker notes, quick slide navigation, and, although we don't have it here, a laser printer. Speaker notes allow you to craft your message and have access to all the notes you need to give a really polished presentation. And finally, in presenter view, you have access to a feature unique to Google Slides, Q&A. With Q&A, you can better engage your audience by allowing them to submit questions, vote on them during the presentation, and then once you start the Q&A session, slides will display a unique URL to give the people the ability to give the questions and vote on them, and you can answer them kind of in the order that the audience cares about. So in this last phase, we've shown that Google editors allow you to work closely together with your colleagues, be in control of the access to the documents you produce, and scale up your systems to produce some of these form-like multiple decks and docs. Throughout this talk, we've shown you the power of true collaboration from the time that a team forms until it hits the performing stride. This sort of collaboration is stronger than email, but you really don't have to take our word for it. It's no surprise that when you do a Google search for email is, you see some frustration with how email works. You see words like dead or obsolete. I guess not dead as well. Um, this is the old way of collaborating, and we believe that docs, sheets, and slides provide you a new form of collaboration that's a little more powerful. A McKinsey report showed that the type of collaboration we're talking about here, fostered with G Suite, frees up work time as much as 8%. And people, we're seeing this in real life. Our internal studies show that people are moving their work out of the inbox and into these more productive services, surfaces. A recent Google study showed that 80% of the domains that adopted G Suite have reduced the amount of email they send, and they've reduced that by, on average, 41%. Let me explain that again. 80% of the people who use our product Spent, reduced their time spent in email by 41%. I said in the previous time I gave this talk that I looked like I owed my Gmail colleagues an apology, and they actually came up to me afterward and demanded the apology. So if you're out there again, I apologize for making you look bad. Um, the same McKinsey port we mentioned uh, said that not only do collaboration platforms free up your time, but you also get a major increase in productivity in what they call interaction workers. And an interaction worker is defined as a high school, high skilled knowledge worker, including managers and professionals. It's a major part of your workforce. Google Docs is exactly such a collaboration platform. And more than three quarters of the time spent in docs, sheets, and slides is, in fact, collaborative. In this talk, we've shown you how teams effectively collaborate in Google Docs. And the result of this is we, we can help you save your average team members 144 minutes per user per week. That's almost two and a half hours per week of save time per user. You may have heard an earlier statistic this morning that the saving is up to a month a year per user. And that's what we have to say. So hopefully you've learned a bit about how to make your team more collaborative using G Suite, and we'd like to thank you for your time and your attention. <laughs>